Hello out there, it's Tony Baker from Six String Country, back for another tribute lesson. Joe Diffie passed away recently, so we'll be doing a tribute lesson on his song, Honky Tonk Attitude, which he co-wrote along with Lee Bogan. The song's in the key of G, and on the acoustic guitar, we've got a pretty straightforward strumming part. We're gonna go over how to hit all those hits with the band, uh, and then there's a riff or two that we're gonna learn to on the acoustic guitar. And on the electric guitar, we're going to have a ton of stuff to go over. Really fun uh, country picking solos. We'll have three different solo options uh, on this one. And there's going to be all sorts of riffs through the verses. And there's a great um, hybrid picking rhythm guitar part we're going to cover. So we've got a lot to look forward to. Let's dive in. guitar part for Honky Tonk Attitude for those of us that are just looking to strum along with the song and maybe sing along with ourselves. So let's start with this intro. It has the drum riff and then we come in with the whole band on these hits. It'll click this. One, two, three, four, one. All right, then we're going to start strumming right there. So these are all power chords. This is a D power chord. Fifth fret of A, seventh fret of D, 7th fret of G. You want to be able to start here and strum all the strings and have only those ring out. To do that, my pointer finger is also muting this low E string. And then I got all these other fingers back here that I'm just kind of allowing to rest on top of these other strings. But you don't want any of them making contact with the fretboard. All right, you don't want that. You just, and my pointer finger here on the bottom is another safety measure. That's kind of just, it's not allowing the strings, the E string and the B string to touch the fretboard and ring out. It's just lightly resting on top of the string so that I can strum really hard if I want to. And the only notes that are gonna ring out is this D power chord, all right? And we're just moving that down. So we're gonna start on the fifth fret here. And then I'm kind of releasing it as I move, going down to fourth fret, going down to third fret, and stop and do the same thing. Third, second, first. And then we got the first fret of low E. And then with your middle finger, you want to go up to the third fret of G to get ready for this drumming. All right, so let's go over some of the chords that we're going to need. It's really a blues song, and you don't really want to have all these major thirds ringing out in the chord, like this B note and a G. So we're going to play it, most of these chords in a way that all the prominent notes, anyway, are going to be roots and fifths. So this is how we're going to play the G. The root is this third fret of low E. We're going to mute the A string. Then we have the D note, which is the fifth of the chord. The G, which is the first. The root, I should say. And the third uh, fret of B, which is the fifth of the chord. The third fret of B, that's a D note, right? The name of that note is a D, and that's the fifth of a G chord. And then we have the third fret of high E, the name of that note is a G, so that's another root. All right? And then we'll need a C, which we'll play like this. So to play the standard C chord, we'll have the third fret of A, second fret of D, open G, first fret of B, third fret of high E. And even though we have this second fret of D, which is an E note, that's the name of that note, and that's the third in the chord, it's low in the chord, 
and it's not going to be a real prominent note. You're mostly going to be hearing this, okay? And then we have a D chord. We're just going to play a different way of playing a D power chord. Open D string, second fret of G, third fret of B. Leave off the high E string. That note we don't necessarily want in there. This tutorial is the general lead lesson for Honky Tonk Attitude. That's going to go through all of the electric guitar parts except for the solos. The solos will all be broken out into their own tutorials above the video player at sixstringcountry.com. So let's jump right in here and cover this intro and intro solo. So the band comes in all together like this. One, two, three, four, one. All right, and that's it. So we've got uh, power chords here. Five of A, seven of D, seven of G. And we're kind of going straight down. And then just give yourself a little gap in, in between there by lifting your fingers up off the fretboard uh, and kind of muting it like that. I can strum all these strings. You notice how just the D power chord is coming out because my pointer finger is muting uh, this low E string and the back of my pointer finger here is muting the B and the E string. And then we go down, starting on four, then starting on third fret, break, three, two, one, and then we go to the first fret. Here's the first lead solo for uh, Joe Diffie's Honky Tonk Attitude. All of these solos are going to be leaning towards the advanced side, but if you take them slow, uh, you can do it because you can just slow them down, learn it piece by piece, memorize it, uh, get out the metronome and start it at about half tempo maybe even, uh, and work it up to speed slowly but surely. It can be a great exercise even um, for working your speed up on some of these riffs. I'll play it nice and slow, but in tempo, and then we'll go over it note by note, and then uh, yeah, we'll play it again. All right, so here's how it looks. One, two, three, four, one, two. <laughs> Thank you. 